I'm done. It's hot, I'm hungry, and I gotta poop. Yeah. 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 Welcome back to Folsom Lake. I think we're gonna start out today right here in these trees. Right over there. Those trees. And those trees. Why not? I'm right here. Uh, it's early. Gonna do some top water. Boy, I look really red. Hope I don't look like that in the in the video. So I'm gonna try this for a little bit. I'm just gonna rip through these trees. I'm gonna throw a popper and a buzzbait. Oh, I wanna tie on a fluke too. I wanna throw that around these trees, maybe a Senko. So let's get started. Okay, I changed my mind. Instead of starting out with a popper, I'm gonna start out with the Zara Spook. It's a little puppy uh, in the G-Finish color. Water's super clear and it is, I don't know. I don't even know what the temperature is right now. I guess I can turn this one on. Don't really care. It's warm enough to throw, uh, throw top water. I forgot how to tie a loop knot too. I kind of remember, but I kind of don't. I wanted to start fishing, so I just said screw it, tied my regular knot, and uh, whatever. I caught my PB without a loop knot, so. Oh, do you see that? I just had a, just had a swirl. Should be a five pound record. There he is coming. Boy, that sucker jumped all the way out of the water for that. Oh, he wrapped me up in a tree. Dang it. The day's gonna start out like that, huh? Yeah, I can see trees right underneath here. Darn it. Oh yeah, look, there's a tree right there. Uh oh, he got off. I got him right here. That was cool. Hopefully I got that on, on camera. That little dude did some acrobatics, man. Well, I had him on for a minute until a little dude wrapped me up in a tree. Alright, going back to the Kitek, little mega bass swim bay head. I want to get in these trees. And I don't know if you saw or heard that, but I just hit the base of that tree. I'm just going to let it sink down. I'm in roughly 14 feet of water. So I just want to throw this at the base of the trees or as close as I can inside there. And just slowly swim it out. Oh, I got one following it right now. There he is, little guy. Well, there you go. That's what's down there. This one. Got that one in the boat. Little guy, I'm not gonna weigh him. Oh, there is a hit. Another little dude. Hopefully, he didn't eat my tail. Nope, still got it. I gotta hear that bullfrog up there. Oh, oh. 
Oh, there's one. There you go. It's a little bit better. That's a good one. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's a nice one, bro. Ooh, he's peeing. Two six two. That's the thing with those little kitex, man. They catch a lot of fish, but they also catch, you know, good fish too. I will catch 20, you know, half ounce bass through the day, but I also catch the right around three pounders. They catch small ones, they catch decent sized ones. That's why it's so hard for me to put this thing down. Had a little tap. I'm going to kind of, we're in about 20 feet right now. So with that cast right there, what I like to do with these longer casts is I'm basically going to tight line that swim bait. So I cast, that was probably in the middle uh, of that tree. And I'm just tight lining it, letting it fall slowly towards me down to about 15 feet. That's where I'm seeing, seeing them suspending is about 15 feet right now. And then I'll just slowly start to reel it in. And I'll give it a little pop every now and again. Since we're in 20 feet, I cast a little bit further than the tree. And I'm gonna tight, let that thing just tight line. There's, oh, shit. Okay, well, I just had a hit. So, you can see how far that is right off of that tree. I think I need to sharpen my hook a little bit though. Oh, dang. Oh, that one actually hurt my wrist, oof. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna sharpen my hook real quick. Let's go for three bites here. Maybe the third time's the charm. He's hit twice, so now it's personal. Now I want to get him. Okay. Oh. There he is. That's a good one. <laughs> Boy, that's another two and a half pounder about. Oof. Boy, man, I'm glad I stuck around for. Oh, look at that in the face. Man, good one, good one. Glad I stuck around for that. Just little taps, man. Third, it's a third hit. All right, now I've got two to weigh. That one's bigger than the last one. Thank you, sir, for biting. Nice one. Boom, gone. I'm gonna clear out the rest of my weights while my scale is still on. Okay, that's two keepers. Uh, right now, two keepers for 5.40. That's almost the entire weight I had last week with five. So for now, I'm happy with that. And that's the thing with, with these little Kitex, man. They catch so many dinks, but they also catch three pounders. Boy, I was right in the middle of sneezing when I caught him. We'll get a weight on him. He's a keeper. Small keeper, but he's a keeper. Oh man, my allergies. Woo.
Thank you for biting. It's been a while. Bing! Sorry, Keeper. We'll get a weight on them. Would be nice to go in with a limit today. All right, one, 154. Our best five is 8.33 pounds, which is only four fish, so. I'm happy with that so far. Another male making some beds and stuff. Down by his fin. All right, bud. Thanks for biting. Ooh, that felt like a hit. Yep, that's a hit. Got him. Oh. Do I? Yeah, he's a tiny guy. Oh, oh, shit. Did you see? Look at that. Look at that. There was about a five pounder that came up and hit him. Dude. Holy shit. I don't know if I got... I don't know if that that was on camera, if you guys saw that. But there was about a five pounder that came up and smacked this, smacked this guy right here. Holy cow. That was on the fall again, too. We'll get a weight on him just uh, just so we can have five. Uh, he's close to a keeper, but he's probably going to be one of those one-pounders, you know. Okay, 130. We'll let him go, but man. That was pretty cool. There was a much bigger one that came up and smacked, tried to eat this from him. There's two massive carp right there. Big old boys. In these couple of trees, bass and carp just seem to stack up on each other and I, I don't know why that is. Oh, shoot. There it is. Two on a Senko, and he just threw my Senko overboard. Thanks, bud. Pretty small. We'll get a weight on him. I think he's right around, right around 13, probably. If he's under a pound, I won't put it on my scale. One, two, one. And what I'll do at the end of the day, I'll delete out the, uh, I'll delete out the ones that are the smallest and just keep my best five in there. But I think my best five right now is like one, or excuse me, 9.68 or something like that. 9.7, still around there. But all right, there's two for the Senko. Got another one off of the Senko or the General. Nice. I think this one's a little bit bigger. Not what I'm looking for. Well, that's nine on the scale. Wait, I can't count. That's seven on the scale. So I'll just start overriding the smaller ones here eventually. I'm gonna try throwing my mag draft around these trees real quick. I've seen a couple of bigger ones. I pulled some fours out of here last year. Um, so I'm going to give this a try, you know. I've been throwing this quite a bit this morning. Uh, normally when I'm out here, I get quite a few follows. And this morning, I have not seen any followers. So that's why I haven't been throwing it too much. But, you know, with, with, some, bigger, uh, with some bigger fish right around these trees, I guess maybe I should have cast it a little bit f further than that right there. But... 
with these bigger fish sitting on these trees right now. I've been throwing this mag raft on and off all day. And you know, just because I don't show a, a bait that I use doesn't mean I don't try other things other than Senkos and drop shots and swim baits. So, I mean, I do throw bigger baits like this mag draft. I love this thing and I've never caught one fish on this thing out here. I've gotten hits off of smaller bass. I've gotten a ton of follows, but I've never caught one on it. And I throw this thing all the time because there's a lot of thread fin shad out here that get three and four inches long that are that look exactly like this uh this bait with this live scope this is probably the coolest thing with live scope i'm heading from this set of trees over here to this set of trees over here and along the way you know i'm i'm moving my my trolling motor left and right and i'm looking for isolated piles of trees and I found one just right over here. It's a small bush. I seen one sitting on it, cast over there, and he hit it. I didn't get him, but I gotta say, that is one of the coolest things ever. Maybe my swim bait's all messed up or something. Nope, but anyway, this live scope is crazy, dude. I feel like I'm cheating all the time now, but it's, it's definitely fun to use. I'll give them that. I think it's worth every penny, man. Because this technology is amazing. There's one. Oh, this one's a good one. <laughs> oh, wow, that one looks good. Maybe not. I'm getting a net just in case. Yeah, oh, that is a good one. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> How awesome is that? Sitting there talking about live scope, just cast up to a tree and hit a two and a half. Look at that. Barely hooked in the mouth. I hope I'm recording this. Yeah, look at that. Heck yeah, boy. Clear scale. Okay, there we go. That is a good one. Really? That's it? Huh. I would have swore he was the biggest one of the day, man. That's a, that is, he's got a huge mouth. Roar. You know, this one's probably spawned out or something. I don't know. But this one is easily, that one definitely feels bigger than all the other ones that I got today. And as far as the two pounders go, I think that's the smallest two pounder that I got today. So now I got three fish over two and a half. It's not a bad day, man. Whoa. I doubt you caught that. I doubt I caught that on camera, but um, I cast in that shade again and I was reeling it out to the boat. I just took my boat off a of spot lock because I was going to go around this, uh, around the tree here and pop. As soon as I let it fall down, I had one pick it up, set the hook on him. It kind of caught me off guard, so... But I still feel like I got a good hook set on them. So I'm going to sharpen my hook again. These, these hooks, man, they, they're not real great. I've never had one bend out on me like a jaw dropper. But I have had them, they go dull. Uh, that still feels pretty darn sticky. Boy, that's that's a heck of a point but because I keep sharpening it. But I'm going to give it a little bit more. Ooh. Come here, bud ginormous one i think that guy hit it about three times and again on the fall he hit it a couple of times and i missed him and then i reeled up about five feet and let it sink again and he came back and smacked it oh, oh, there goes another one boy for some reason today on the fall they want it they want it on the fall today it's so weird last week it was the complete opposite they wanted it super aggressive. Man, they change every single week. But that's the thing. Last week, the water temp was also about eight to nine degrees cooler than it was than it is right now. Here come the lake lice too with their jet skis. Yay! Oh, 
Here's another hit. All right, I still got my tail. Sweet. Get in that shade. Just had a hit on the general. There he is. Got him. Oh, nothing big. But I'll take him. He's a fishy. I'll take all fishies that want to bite. Thank you, sir. And have a good day. Ooh, that water felt good. I'm glad I put that swim bait back on. I've got a decent one right here. First, first cast with a swim bait. Come on, bud. Oh, 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 oh. Where are you at? <laughs> All right. He'll definitely call something. He feels like he's about two. It's a good one. All right. My smallest weight right now is 1.21. So we'll overwrite that one. Wow, that's nine keepers for the day. All right, 191, almost another two pounder. All right, bud, thanks for biting. It's been fun. Thanks again. Boom. Man, what a day. I've got at least nine keepers right now. I didn't weigh some because they were, they looked just borderline. Uh, but I'm sure they were one pounders. Some of the ones that I put back, I don't know. I think I'm at like, I think I'm probably close to 20 for the day. I doubt all of them are going to make it in the video, especially like the little six inches or four inches or eight inches or whatever they were. But yeah. Right now, I think I'm close to 20, and it's not even noon yet. I think it's only about 11.30. All right, well, my camera went into uh, taking picture mode instead of video mode somehow, but I just got this bad boy too. Uh, so I think that's gonna put me almost all my fish over two pounds today, all my keepers at least. Hey, got him at 2.53. Thanks for biting. Man, on that swim bait again. The swim bait is just destroying today. All right, thank you, buddy. Okay, so this is the tree that I wanted to hit. And first cast. Sucker stole my stole my tail boy i didn't want to do this but this is my last spot so i may break out the general and throw it in there um but i already got one bite here on the swim bait so i'm going to try this a little bit longer but i think i tagged that fish that hit so i don't think i'm going to get him again but oh there's one there he is Boy, he is, he's pissed. That's a good one. I'll net that one. He's, I don't think he's two pounds, but, oh, maybe. Lord. Yeah, I think he might be my two pounder. Ah. Oh. Dang it. 182, so close. Let's get you back in the water. Ching. 182. There he is. Got one on a on a general. Oh, he might go too. Come on, buddy, go too. Oh! Oh, dude. <laughs> My general popped off. And I thought he got off. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, buddy. 
Ooh, man, look at that right in the roof of the mouth. That's a good hook. Okay, our smallest one now is 1.38 on the top. Let's get rid of that one. Yeah, there we go. All two and a half are better for the day. Uh, I, I reached my goal. Oh, man, what a freaking day. And it's one o'clock. I think, I think I'm done. Well, I accomplished my goal today. Um, I wanted to get five fish. I wanted to get a limit of all two and a half pounders and above. And I did it. I got five between two and a half pounds and almost three. You can see my total weight is 1305 on the bottom. Uh, my biggest was 2.77. I got two 2.53s, awesome. I reached my goal by one o'clock. Uh, I forget what time I got here, maybe like 6.30 or so. I'm done. It's hot, I'm hungry, and I gotta poop. That is like the golden trifecta of reasons to leave. I made it to one o'clock, that's what I wanted to do, and I gotta get home. I got the majority of them on the little Kitex swim baits. Again, it doesn't matter the color, just as long as it's represent representing like a shad. Great day. All I did was I stayed on the peninsula peninsula the entire day. I mean, I can see that I, I was in sight of the launch ramp the entire day. I bet you I didn't even burn through a gallon of gas. Um, I just worked the trees, all of them. Some of them had fish, some of them did not. I broke, I got into the teens, I broke into the teens for my first time this year, hopefully not the last time, and I will catch you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Yeah.